What's up, everyone? It's your boy, the blockchain guy, back here for another video. This one is going to be good because it's the first video in a series that I'm doing called Year in Review. So much has happened in 2021 in crypto land that it's going to take multiple videos to process everything. For this video, we're going to go over the top five breakout layer ones in the year 2021. A layer one is the base protocol on which other applications can be built on top of. Ethereum is probably the most famous layer one, but other cryptos such as Solana, Cardano, et cetera, these are all layer ones. So we're gonna go through them and pick out the top five layer ones of 2021. For every protocol, we're not just gonna show you the price, okay? That's boring. I'm going to show you fundamental metrics for each protocol that gives us an idea of the health of the actual ecosystem. If you like this video, if you want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe, grab some hot cocoa, because I'm not stopping. It's time to get into our top five crypto layer one protocols of 2021. Let's go. Starting out with number five, we have Near Protocol. So Near Protocol is a proof of stake protocol. One of Near's main goals is to be a blockchain that connects other blockchains together. They are openly not trying to be the single dominant blockchain, but they want to exist in a symphony with other blockchains like Ethereum or Polkadot or Solana. Taking just a little teensy peek at the price chart, for one year, they're up about 10x, which is pretty good. And a lot of that growth is happening in the last few months. But price may or may not reflect the actual blockchain. Let's look at the actual usage by looking at their bridge. The near rainbow bridge is its Ethereum bridge, where you can bridge assets to and from the near protocol. This dashboard has some of the actual stats of the activity that's happening on the bridge. The one I want to focus on is the number of input transactions. Near's Ethereum bridge was launched in March, and here you can see the number of transactions actually going into the bridge, into the near protocol. As you can see, there wasn't really any activity for a long time, but in the last few months, that activity has been picking up and up. Just in general, near has made a lot of progress this year, and it seems like they have a lot of momentum in the last three months moving into next year. Speaking of momentum, at number four on the list, we have Avalanche. Avalanche is an EVM compatible blockchain, which means that any applications that were deployed on Ethereum can also be deployed on Avalanche without doing any more coding. There's been a lot of interest in Avalanche over the last few months, with their main benefits being fast and low cost transactions. They also have low hardware requirements in terms of being a validator, which is important for decentralization. Looking at the price, Avalanche was $3.13 on January 1st, 2021 which means it's gone up around 40x. Here's a DeFi Llama dashboard for Avalanche. As you can see, starting with almost no value, um, just a few million dollars, Avalanche total value locked has skyrocketed up to 12 billion. Just like Nier, they've had a lot of momentum in the last few months. I definitely think it's smart that Avalanche made their smart contracts EVM compatible because it makes it a lot easier for developers to build that ecosystem. Either way, it's definitely one to watch for 2022. Number three on the list is Terra. Terra's core product is a US dollar stable coin called UST. UST is the main way to use the applications that Terra has, such as Anchor Protocol and Mirror. UST is what's called an algorithmic stable coin. Unlike USDC, Terra isn't actually holding the equivalent value of dollars in a bank somewhere. Instead, their UST is backed up by a combination of Luna their native token, and other cryptocurrencies. The way this system is designed, the price of Luna is supposed to go up as more people have demand for UST. As you can see in the last year, Terra has gone up almost 200X, which is insane. The market cap of UST has gone from just 200 million on January 1st, 2020, all the way up to over 9.5 billion today. Looking at the total value locked, on Terra's blockchain, you'll see a similar story. On January 1st, 2020, they had just about 50 million locked, and now they have almost 20 billion. Protocols like Anchor and Mirror allow you to invest in stocks using UST or just earn interest on that money. Terra is a super interesting project to watch with a ton of new users coming in. Coming in in second place, we have Solana. Of course, you knew Solana was gonna be on here somewhere. Solana has 
made a lot of headlines in the last year. A lot of people think that they're the main threat to Ethereum. Solana uses a unique consensus algorithm called proof of history, which allows it to have fast transaction times with low latency. The main downside of this is that the hardware requirements are much larger, so it may be harder for any individual to run a node. Either way, Solana has made huge progress in terms of DeFi applications and other applications such as NFTs and gaming. NFTs have blown up on Solana, as well as the total value lock. Right now, Solana is hovering around $180, which means the price has gone up 100x since January 1st. Just as impressive is the total value locked in Solana. Right now, that stands at around $11 billion. Since it started being tracked in April, it's gone almost 100x as well. Solana is interesting and a little bit controversial because it has captured the hearts of venture capitalists. Whether or not you believe that's a good thing, a lot of money is flowing in to funding new Solana projects. So it's attracting some developers and entrepreneurs to the ecosystem. It'll be interesting to see if all that new capital flowing in will be able to create some really cool projects. My pick for the top L1 of 2021 is Ethereum. I know that this is kind of a spicy take. Ethereum has not grown as fast as any of these other protocols, but in absolute terms, Ethereum has become a juggernaut. Their total value locked has gone from around 18 billion on January 1st to over 156 billion now. Going 10x is awesome, but in absolute scale, adding $130 billion of value is amazing. It's also important to consider a lot of things that may have value on Ethereum, such as NFTs, are not counted in these numbers. The price of Ethereum has gone up about 5x since January 1st, 2020. The NFT craze, in combination with DeFi, has brought tens of millions of users into crypto. Many of these users created their own wallets and interacted with smart contracts for the first time. Ethereum has also shifted into becoming a base layer for other layer twos. Because the fees on Ethereum have gotten high, a huge number of layer twos and sidechains such as Polygon, Arbitrum, Optimism, ZK Sync have all sprung up and are poised to take over next year. These layer twos all use Ethereum as their settlement layer. And so the better that they do, the better Ethereum does as a protocol. Ethereum has broken into the mainstream, and I believe that in the next year, we're going to see some applications on Ethereum that people couldn't even imagine beforehand. Anyways, that's it for my video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. If you want to see more of my year in review series, go ahead and like this video and subscribe so that I know to make more. I'll see you in the next video.